What's up, what's up? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. Mickey Facts, and I'm back with another video. So, I wasn't even supposed to post this week. I was just going to do live sessions, but I had to pull up on y'all because Truth Team, like, we are under attack right now, okay? Like, I'm chilling with my new little homies over there at Cloud Monsters TV, you know, chilling, listening to the information, their new perspectives and things. All of a sudden... They're like, yo, let's listen to this clip. So I'm sitting there, and the clip was from God Bless TV. So I'm like, okay, listening. It's supposed to be allegedly J. Prince Jr., right? So I'm listening, bam, bam, bam. And what I like about Clout Monsters TV, they look over material, and then they discuss it. You know what I'm saying? So it gives you a way to kind of see different sides of it. So I'm looking, and then I'm like... You know what? Yo, T, tag me in, okay? And for those who don't know, T, T is the head over there at Cloud Monster TV. So, I'm like, yo, that shit sound like cap, okay? And I'm on it, okay? Like, I'm on it. Like, I'm going to figure it out. But if he ain't cap, that's fucked up that he even put that shit out, right? So, y'all already know your girl don't take much time. Got to looking into it. Before I get into all that, listen to the actual clip that God blessed tv put out not only listen to it look at the fucking bullshit that's in it and then we're gonna talk about it to all the leaders out there to all the leaders out there we have to make sure that we're tight at all times we have to make sure that our security and our guys that surround us are tight at all times regardless of circumstances and situations you never get too comfortable just one the dude hit him the first time and ran off thinking that something was going to get thrown back at him. And we dealing with what we dealing with today. My message to y'all is let's make sure that we stay sharp. Let's make sure that we stay on point at all times, regardless of where we at, because we cannot afford to lose any more black leaders to this community. Any more leaders, period. We can't afford to lose them. So let's stay sharp. Let's stay tight let's stay on point and let's make sure that we don't have any more casualties to cowardness hey man that shit kind of sound a little crazy to me bro yo let me let me start off by saying these damn grown ass men that sit behind these computers and put these videos together and need to do their fucking job and research this information. This shit is stupid as fuck. That they took a video, chopped it down, added to a fucking shooting victim video where somebody actually fucking died. That shit is sick. Like, I'm so fucking over that shit. Because it took me in. You know what? I tried to wait on a replays from the clubhouse. But, you know, you can look back at it. Literally, it took me a few minutes to verify this fucking information and correct it. And I say that to say, whether God bless TV chopped it or not, he fucking issued that shit. Foolery. You know what I'm saying? Then, Dirt TV Celebrity, you had a chance to not only fucking look into it, you had a chance to correct the information, but you didn't. Cap ass niggas, like for real, or uh, bitches, or whoever behind the fucking screen. Like, I'm pissed off because, like, come on, at some point, you got to have a fucking fine line. And if you out here just putting bullshit out, especially on a fucking murder, you you stand for fucking nothing. I can't respect no shit like that. You might as well fucking put a skirt on and tuck your fucking tail. The fuck? Because you ain't no man if you standing for some bullshit like that. I don't give a fuck who you is, and you can take it how you want. Mickey True said that. Like, I'm out here, let me tell you, I don't even show my face on camera because I focus on the facts. And I still don't be out here putting out no fucking bullshit. So, the fuck? Like, this shit make me want to say, fuck it. Like, for real. I be wanting to just walk away from this YouTube shit. Because most of this shit on here is fucking cap. You know what I'm saying? And then the people that you try to reach out to or reach with your truth... They cap as fuck. You know, shout out to my truth team that really be rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? That really wait for me. I, my phone been blowing up. Shout out to Sko. He hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Fact check your shit. 
And even if you ain't no blogger, stop listening to everything on YouTube. I tell my own fans, go behind me. Don't just take my word for it. Like, the fuck? Damn, like, y'all, I'm so fucking irritated. Like I said, man, that shit was cap. J. Prince Jr. Um, actually posted this shit in 2019 regarding the Nipsey murder. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, come on. I be telling y'all. Y'all be reaching. Dumbass shit. Nikki Truth gonna close out because I'm fucking pissed because that shit's stupid as fuck. Like, when I heard it on Clubhouse, I couldn't see the actual video. And seeing that shit just stupid as fuck because you took the time to chop that bitch down like that, but you ain't want to look it up. It took a few fucking seconds. Oh, this shit just got me so irritated. Like, when Clout Monster TV replay come out for today, titled J Prince Jr. finally speaks on takeoff, just watch how quick it was for me to fucking find an online article and the fucking Instagram post. Like, the fuck? A little word, nigga. A little word. You getting paid. A little word. And then, man, y'all got to get right. The ones that's watching these dumbass videos. So many of these people on the fucking, like, provided facts they're fucking lying and they still look at it they still run it up and i ain't gonna lie and i say what you want charles and white do be with some shit but he just said in one of his rents the truth ain't the truth no more and i feel that shit like for real that shit this shit make me just want to walk away from youtube like Cause these suckers on this shit is making this fucking shit. Mm -mm. I can't see how a real man would stand for that shit. Or a real woman would stand for that shit. We talking about real fucking situations, man. Like real shit. Like just fuck foolery, fuckery, whatever. But they want to draw conclusions and they want to say this, want to say that. I'm going to close out. I'm irritated. My blood pressure up. Again, J. Prince Jr. did not speak out. As anybody that's really caring about justice, J. Prince Jr. or Jazz Prince has not said anything about the case if their dad did not post it first. Remember that. J. Prince Sr. is a boss of the count. So if he's not posting the video, put your fucking thinking caps on. They're not going to post a video. Okay? And then also, watch the fucking real news. Like, like for real. If you're not able to really use your fucking head, watch the regular news. Stop coming to YouTube. Everybody's not built to come to YouTube and be able to know when somebody's fucking pulling your fucking leg for views. <sighs> like, comment, subscribe, man. This is Mickey Truth, a.k.a. Mickey Facts. I love all my supporters, even if you don't support me and you still count on me for content to provide. I appreciate you still because you're getting out the truth. To everybody else, fucking doing all this clout chasing on these fucking people lies. Fuck y'all with a sick dick and your mama. Deuces. And our guys that surround us are tight at all times, regardless of circumstances and situations. You never get too comfortable. Nipsey got hit on three different occasions, three different times in one event. And I feel like if 